first Splatoon with Huerta. And actually, this might be one of the last matches I'll upload uh, where I played with Huerta, which was in one long session, in case you're wondering. It was not over days or weeks. Uh, this might be one of the last matches because uh, there's only like one match left for me to check. And it may or may not be actually good enough to upload. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm uploading this match because I liked it a lot. The level of talent between both teams was fairly equal. Right here, I really messed up my ambush against this player. I should have, like, I believe I hit them in the first place with my shot, but then I should have followed up with bombs instead of trying to hit them again with my charger. Because I don't have damage ups on right now. And that's an issue. Anyway, the enemy team pretty much has the advantage right at the beginning. Mostly map controls, but I do manage to splat some opponents, and I'll have to put in some efforts to make sure that I can repel all their forces right around here. I missed my shot, unfortunately. Someone managed to kill the Rainmaker. Right here, I almost got ambushed. If it was not for Equilocator, I definitely would have gotten splatted. Uh, unfortunately, my Quirta got screwed right over here. Probably was just on the edge of the Rainmaker's shield explosion. There's a bit of lag going on, unfortunately, because Japanese players. But it's not too bad. It's like, it's not the worst I've ever seen. And it, it's probably happening to the enemies as well, so... Be careful. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Spushomatic, or some of the opponents anyway, are just focusing on getting control of the center, first and foremost. Which is not a bad idea for this map. Particularly because one of the players is a charger when he was just standing in one place. That carbon roller, I really didn't like what they did right there. They were just hiding behind that those crates, waiting for someone to get close. And anyway, we would get a pretty decent lead right here. 45 points. It's not completely commanding, but it's something that the opponents have to take uh, into account now. However, as some of you may have noticed in the length of this video, this match goes into overtime. I got lucky right here against Mystic. Uh, I, uh, hitting with both my shot and my bomb was really, really lucky. Compar especially compared to what happened in the beginning. I, I wish that would always happen when you get ambushed with a charger. Especially with, right when you're looking uh, right at them. That you could, like, screw it over the ambush by hitting them twice correctly. But it doesn't always happen, unfortunately. Sometimes you just happen to get screwed. Here I was playing way too conservatively with the uh, Rainmaker, but <laughs> it was my my uh, hesitation was well founded because of that carbon roller just waiting for me, annoyingly enough. I scored two points for what it's worth. And anyway, I'm trying to prevent the enemies from getting lead here, but I got too aggressive against those splat bombs, unfortunately. That player does not hesitate to equip a bunch of damage ups. The, the Squid Girl shirt is really popular for a damage up piece of equipment. Anyway, here, this is bad. Right here, this is very, very bad. Because enemy used the Kraken. I should have splatted them right there. If I had done my shot correctly, I, I could have splatted them immediately. And that might have prevented them from gaining the advantage. But unfortunately, because now that they have the advantage, we're the ones who have to put in the effort to get it back. And it's not easy. Because less than 30 points to get the advantage again, that's that's quite demanding for the, this map against these opponents. And I'm hesitating quite a bit here because we do not have control of the center right now. That's shown right here. Don't know why he decided to, to use a special right here. I mean, it, it could have worked, but it didn't. Because I, I was expecting it. However, I did a horrible, horrible mistake right here. This... Right here is not a good spot to sneak into the enemy base. It is not. Dying right here was a freaking horrible mistake because it gives a humongous advantage to the enemy team. Now they can just lame it out is the problem. They can just lame it out and stay on that spot with the Rainmaker. And if we try to pick up the Rainmaker ourselves, we're almost certainly going to get splatted immediately. Especially because there's a carbon roller. Like, you guys see right here, that they're all stuck in that one spot. And there's barely anything we can do to catch up, catch back the Rainmaker. Particularly with so, how little time we have left. So yeah, I completely screwed our, our match here. Bringing the Rainmaker over there. I thought I was being good 
sneaking, trying to sneak by their defenses, but it just didn't work. I managed to slide the opponent right here, but there's only five seconds left, and guess what? Kraken. That Kraken guarantees that their win because as soon as it goes over in overtime, he immediately breaks it and then catches the Rainmaker. So yeah, that me bringing the Rainmaker over there was a fatal mistake. Oh yeah, and we lost the match. That this doesn't usually happen. Unfortunately, I ended the recording just before the results screen, so that's how I. That's as far as it goes in terms of footage. Anyway, there may or may not be one more match with Huerta to show. Otherwise, I'll be going back to solo ranked uh, matches to upload, which is basically Road to S Plus matches, really. Hope you all enjoyed, and hope you have a nice day. Bye bye.